Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we're fighting the first of two battles which will destroy the Huron faction for good. This first one should not take up much time. Let's get cracking. There is one small army to the southwest, but they appear not to be able to uh, support the defense of the city. Perhaps they're hoping on surviving. Uh, well, they're relying on surviving the next turn. <laughs> um, but yes, we are going to immediately jump on top of uh, this territory and also York Factory. York Factory? To the northwest. And that one will likely take a little bit extra um, effort. So, with this one, form a mighty line. Maybe deselect the unit of engineers. Let's put my Jaeger and my engineer inside the woods. Split some cavalry up. Ultimately, they're a very. This is a very small force. I do not anticipate big changes, but this will likely be this this army's last action. Um, in the entire campaign because they will this territory will probably not settle down for an awfully long time and we're going to be making pretty rapid progress towards destroying our enemies I wonder where they're hiding rockets away there you go. quick climb ready Rockets appear to not want. There we go. Rockets away. Going for this unit of bowmen, I imagine? No, the general. I suspect they were probably among the first. Um, the first that was visible. But let's allow them the privilege or the honour of pushing forward. Quick Lime has done some. He's doing some real damage. He's just bravely climbing back up. Good on him. These chaps will be amongst the first to hit my line. Brave, brave souls. Rockets away. Okay, so they've been hit. My troops will reload. <laughs> reload, fellows. There's the next wave coming in. And they're fuming. Really not happy. But the volleys come crashing in. Let's dispatch these fellows by cavalry. Close range rocket. Them, my brothers. Think of the heavy cavalry. Where's my heavy cavalry? Bring them up. The light cavalry. Oh, there you go, they're shattered. Same judgment on this flank, although they're slightly weaker. It's still just against Bowman. This unit has been annihilated by Quick Climb. Let's 
quite a rapid dispatch. They're confident because they have to be. <laughs> Flying, we've been knocked down already. Hold the artillery fire. Slaughter them, slaughter them all. My light cavalry may be slightly at risk, but not enough to really cause concern or alarm. <laughs> Excellent. It's the first territory secured on our way to uh, domination. So let's dismantle the government building, get you guys finishing. Let's get this gold mine built, let's get trap post upgraded, and let's get the roads upgraded. We're not going to push forward, we've already fought these guys. We've taken the territory you want to take. Actually, can we... Oh, you've been converted by church school. Let's get a couple more of these upgrades while I'm scooting on past. Make sure you're on your way to Yankton. Rudolf Moser. Let's attack <laughs> the last remaining actual the army they have at York Factory. This one might take a bit more doing, but uh, yeah, late game European armies are they're not nothing to be sniffed at. To the point where early on the native factions are incredibly lethal. Uh, later on, not really. You end up building artillery pieces for the native as the native nations to uh, knock out the enemy's artillery, or at least attempt to knock out their artillery, while your infantry just does the killing. But in this game, European artillery and European infantry really just be ends up being so strong, you're okay with going toe to toe with native melee infantry. You just have no fear, or at the very least, you have confidence that your infantry can stand up to being swarmed by melee infantry that they can actually survive for a period of time. So I need to be somewhat cautious because the enemy is hiding. So my artillery is going to engage the enemy any way they can. These are the stuff, the stuff that can't hide. So I'm going to limber up my howitzers and move them forward. My 12 pounders are fine back here. The range is eminently useful. Focus on the tribal gunners. Go how it is limbered up. Push them forward. Let's get trotting my man up into position. I mean, you are armed tribesmen, so. Are there any more infantry near you, or can we jump on you? Ah! Hope Jaeger Sophia should put a volley into them. And some Native American warriors. Okay, let's move back. There we go. All my cavalry back. We haven't lost a single QSE air yet. But I don't necessarily want to. Yeah, we're still good. There we go. The my QSE air charge the bowmen, because they're right there in front of us. Bell Jaeger storm forward. Now you men are going to engage the warriors. Push you guys forward. Slight infantry cease fire. 
Bill Yeager gets the Chief's bodyguard. Just the firepower of the Europeans is significant. Drop into square. Kill the enemy chief. That's always nice. You men charge that unit, Troy. Just keep shattering them. See, look, my units are able to fight off Native American warrior units. The chief's bodyguard is actually broken. You men form up. You come after the Native American warriors. My gunners keep engaging the amount of purple gunners to the rear. Look at, look at that. They, they bayonet charged my. Well, they melee charged my line. They're able to just go, no, you know what? I'm not having it, sir. We're going to be having you as well. And we're going to be having you. And we're going to be having all of you. So you guys about face. Halt the, tri halt the progress of the tribal gunners. Run my light infantry into position. Yeah, everyone charge the enemy tribal gunners. But no, that is an enemy formation destroyed. And there goes the tribal gunners. Massed artillery and some plucky fusiliers. And that's the end of the Huron Nation. Nice. Good job. So this army may be able to be turned around in time to push south. So let's demolish this building. You guys let repair. Let's build the traffic post. Let's upgrade the roads. And you could feasibly jump onto here, but you're not going to. Um... I might shift you guys up, just in case these guys have any ideas of trying to get into this area and start raiding. If we do, they'll have to now go this way. Montreal can handle it. Let's give them a bit of support, built from Quebec. Make sure we're getting the roads built, which we are. You can probably leave New York, push forward. You can also leave Boston, although you might try and go this way. Philadelphia is a bit grumpy, so you may be out of the out of the running. You also get orders to push, Mr. Talber. Just keep everyone. Just keep pushing. So over in near Texas, you're pushing forward towards Santa. Fe. Actually, you might wait a turn. Let yourselves replenish first. And you, Mr. Hirsch. You're going to attack and take New Orleans because we're only fighting this army and this army, not this army in port or the army aboard ship. Let's do this. Got a militia army and then another smaller force coming in. But I don't think any of them are going to be any real problems for us. So that will be two factions destroyed. Then we can close up our borders near the Cherokee. Well, ultimately, we can start pushing any surplus troops we've got um, west towards the Plains Nations. Because soon we'll be ready to jump on the Cherokee. And it might not be this episode, it might be the subsequent episode, but... Well, no, it won't be this episode, it'll probably be the episode afterwards. But then, that'll be the end of Bavaria. Form the line. This line may split up depending on where the enemy reinforcements come in from. Just keep 
the guns mobile for now. Okay, let us push up to about here. Quite a rapid advance. Push the guns up. I don't care if you get close enough and we start bayonet charging, that's fine. Might actually start um, quick climbing because we've got a lot of blocks of infantry to wipe out. That's right, make ready on fire. You don't even have bayonets. Nice non fire by rank as well. Sorting out enemy cavalry. Pursue them with ours. The wild dragoons are going in, the Crossier are going after another unit. Nice. That unit just got obliterated by musketry. Over the line. Oh, now just naturally we get a bit of rain. Desperately trying to throw more cavalry into this engagement, but I think my Curacier are going to be what tip this over the edge for them. That and the rapid. To, to be honest, do I even push some units over to help? Form square, the 15th, they're trying to charge our flank. Fourteenth is very upset. Take their positions upon the hill. Keep pushing the flank. So they, they think the attack is even. They've thrown in three times as many cavalry into the mix. Human advance. Now here's the big question: Where are their reinforcements going to come in from? Oh, they've actually stopped retreating because our men have eased up on the musket fire for long enough. We can bring some cavalry over just to make sure we don't get caught out. Never recovered. Okay, let's maybe do something more like this. There we go. They're starting to win out of sheer numbers, but here comes the tenth horse guards and the first lancer guard. Camacho! Green coated swine. Okay, push up. This is the largest single cover engagement I've had in a long time. Get my general over here. The 8th Regiment are on the, on the verge. 
fear not. The general is here. Everyone knows generals make it all better. Make the 26th route, please. And thank you. Storm to the top and engage them in musket fire. Now we've got to find where their reinforcements come in. Redirect a howitzer fire onto the flanks. Okay, let's see. There. Good. This cavalry fight is still ongoing, but it looks like the balance has been tipped in our favour. So let's not waste any time at all and begin pushing. Hey, did they, they charge us? Where's the general's bodyguard? There we go. Now they're starting to go down. He's got the enemy general down from his horse. Or one of them, maybe. You men form square. Oh, mercenaries. Mercenaries broke. Well, oh, they fancy they're gonna get our artillery. Oh well. All because I trusted in mercenaries. Let's see if my artillery can push forward. Keep moving away. We've dealt with the enemy here. Push up. Oh, the Mercy's even getting back, though. The human form a more solid flank. They didn't kill a single artillery piece. Recovered. And now my Lancer Guards get to tear them a new one. How oh, it's a switch to round shot and engage the militia. Make sure nothing stupid happens. Push forward. Because there is a limit to how fast they can get men into the battle. Oh no, that's another another reinforcing army, isn't it? Coming in from this direction. You men get to obliterate this unit of irregulars. Now the tribal auxiliary are taking up space. And spread out just a little bit more. Blast them. Colonial militia, colonial militia. You should be eviscerating the musket and auxiliary. Lim artillery and limba. Engaging. We can't reach a charge for 24th. Let's just get this. Actually, no, you guys were wavering already. You haven't even been charged yet, so. Yeah, that's very much seals your fate that it did. Go on. 
You shatter. You man commits the fight. Good, you're within quick claim range. Hey, you men, get over here. You men, push up. Although it looks like they aren't coming in from here anymore. In which case... You men push up. Although you're getting close enough now, just bane and charge them. The 46 and the 73rd. My grenadiers aren't even getting involved. All the way. Oh, they're losing men fast. Poor souls don't even have bayonets. Fill in the gap. Push up. You may advance up the flank. You. Colonial Light Cav, Colonial Light Cav, Colonial Militia. Fire off some pot shots. These must get misfired. You suck! I work there. You got my mercenaries that were wavering and now no longer. Actually, they're engaging the militia. They're under a lot of musket fire. Very nonchalant for a bunch of guys that are about to die. Ratchet forward. Is there someone hiding here? Musketmen, native musketmen, are you in here? Oh no, it must have been a unit that routed. It was the leftover smoke. I'm wavering from just being charged. Don't give them space, room to manoeuvre. Need to bow an auxiliary, but go for the colonial light. Form up and shoot the native musket, man. the native bowman auxiliary, rather, not musket auxiliary. 70th might be the first to open fire. You men reloaded. Fire! There's a volley of bows coming in. So, you men might get involved in the melee engagement. Taking a lot of fire from a lot of places. I was going to say, you men just barely charged the militia. <laughs> they weren't going to escape. X. 
Excellent. So that's two factions destroyed. In one episode, no less. Because they're all going to fall back. It looks kind of bad, but then bloop, they're all gone. So congratulations, Peter Hirsch. You are now governor of Louisiana. Then you push on to Upper Louisiana. You're in a better, better position to push up to the border of Yankton. Right no, you can't leave Texas. You keep going up to New Mexico, see what's there. There's a unit south. Everyone has orders and that's okay. So you men position, ready to march up towards Cherokee territory. You men are going to jump on this city. You guys are both going to engage these chaps here. There's a lot of shenanigans that's going to go on up north. So let's keep keep on building. Upgrade. Nice. Let's hit enter and watch how the enemy reacts to this. Oh, I got to fight in um, New Andalusia. And we have two other armies that we can bring to bear as well. Uh, they're calling back their troops. If you're not going to protect your cities, that might be considered an error in judgment. Don't worry, Cherokee. Your time will come. Yeah, yeah you're ready to rock and roll. Bring you to bear. You also get. You I mean I may as well just give orders for for people just to start running up there. Actually, you can probably. You know, minus thirteen, they they really don't like us. You keep pushing up to Upper Louisiana. You can just keep pushing up this bank. And just slaughter whatever native troops you find. You put the put Cayuga under siege. I mean, god damn, do you, you no, you don't necessarily jump onto them. You some of these armies just push up. You're in an interesting position to go and run it towards Michigan Territory. If they choose to intercept us, that's their choice. Ooh, a new town emerges. I mean, we very much don't need to, but I kind of want to just keep on, keep on upgrading. So should I ever come back this campaign and kind of look at it? Because I do keep my save files when I've finished a campaign. Because I can kind of look back and go... You know what? We do have a bunch. If this is this was a good campaign. That and also when the campaign ends, I like looking at how much money I'm making, and I don't want to have a rigidist figure because I was lazy with my upgrades. I'm just suddenly just still in Europe. Some of these don't even have top line, top of the line roads. Dear, 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 dear. Joe Wonder, can you leave your factory? Minus one. Yes, you can. They will tolerate it. Although I might leave you there for one turn just to make sure they don't like immediately rebel. Oh, another unit. Land in Florida and also not Florida. Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. Push up towards Yankton. 
we do have this fight to fight as well. Down here in Antigua. I haven't forgotten. I just forgot. <laughs> you mean push up. So how's your replenishment doing? Good. Okay. Oh my god. So we may be also destroying New Spain this episode. <laughs> Maybe. We may be, then it will just be the Iroquois, the Cherokee, and the Plains Nations, which will probably be me probably mean the next episode will be the final episode. Then I'll have to record a uh, a faction voting video. Which would be neat. I have my suspicions on who's probably gonna win. And I'm not gonna go into it, but there's gonna be, there's gonna be some caveats to that campaign. Um, right. Guns at the rear, a lot of shells. Up and over. Infantry advance straight up. We're gonna have an infantry component pushing up on the left with cavalry. More cavalry on the right. How it's to start popping off shots round shot only for now. Get cracking. Well, obviously they've deployed as far back as they can possibly get. going after my general with their artillery. The Bounders. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys better run. Because they got mortars. Already killed 40 odd fusiliers, 30 marines. We need to push in close, hard, and fast. go because you've got a, a little bit further to go retarget my howitzers I'm fairly sure they're engaging take him down Or teach them to stand where we want to stand. And if you men even try it, you're gonna get smashed by some Gurkhas as well. There we go. The line infantry's we advanced to point blank range. Keep my regulars out. Get my Gurkhas in. Militiamen, regular troops, enemy cavalry. You men all had orders to attack the 19th Regiment, which you did not carry out. Put artillery, engage that massive block. The cavalry charge the first, same with the Gurkhas, irregulars. Get into the line, start popping off shots. Get 
charge my cavalry through because they smashed that infantry. Push the militia. Oh, that's a catastrophic route for the new Spaniards. Yeah, so safe to say I think we will be destroying New Spain this episode. <laughs> Which advanced up. Advanced up into point blank range. Annihilated their infantry force with superior musketry. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty big. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You are now the governor of Antigua, Georgio Guzman. You've been around for a long time. Honourable service has been had by you, sir. This on up to here. The lad on light. <sighs> so they have reinforcements, and we have a lot less artillery in this episode, uh, in this army rather. But uh, I don't think it's going to be needed. If we don't have a lot of artillery, it means we've got loads of infantry, and infantry is great. Especially when you've got a really good position for artillery as well. So select everyone who isn't melee infantry and light infantry. Put all my lights on one flank, bolster them with Gurkhas and a company cav. Keep my Chevrolet Leger together. Where's your reinforcements coming in? Okay. So let's take a reasonable detachment of men. Push forward. something a bit more like this with this flank. I mean, Tribal Auxiliary do not care. You may intercept my... Or interfere with my charge. But you will not stop it. These men will continue to push. No, sorry, you guys are going to go like this, weren't you? Face off against the reinforcements coming in. So they recoil under my superior artillery fire. My battle line is going to be set up well in advance. Should really have been running. That's fine. Just don't move up any further. Even better, run away. Mortars back here, no less. There we go, now we're going to get some gunplay.
Make sure you guys are fire firewall on. Company cavalry's falling back from the mortar fire. Get my Gurkhas in. They'll thin out the enemy ranks. men forward. Yeah, the Gurkhas will clear them off. Militiamen charge the native musketman auxiliary. Yeah, there's their other army. There's their other infantry. Militia. Learn your line. Militia. Well, they've kind of screwed up, though. Gurkha's going around the flank. And the bodyguard's going to get hit by carbines from my cavalry. Yeah, it's not going to be great news. Tribal Auxiliary. Gurkha's going to cut through these native musketmen like a hot knife through butter. Push right up in their face. Show them what it means to fear the musket. Any native bone logs that are recharging in, you're welcome to. Quick climb. That's why you guys need to load and fire as fast as possible, damn it. Keep pushing. Militia. They're shooting my Gurkhas, they might make them rout. They're shaken. But if they can get to within more within mortar range, then it's not gonna really matter. Because the 15th will go down. Okay, so that's everyone. New men push up and form a new front line here. Aha. So we're going to leave one unit behind just in case. There we go. There's another unit of musket auxiliary. It's not going to really matter once we've you know, once you shatter them we we'll push this way because we know that's where they're hiding
Get him. Guns engage the militia on the hill. Yeah, you can still get some good shots off on them. Native Bowman Auxiliary is alive. Excellent choice. You even engage the colonial militia to the rear. This strategy is a bit all over the place. Desert warriors have routed. As did they. Very well. Let's move my prime infantry along one slot across the board. men push up just to provide a bit of extra firepower. 175 Gherkins versus 215 Militia. I know who my money's on. And then my guys, oh they are, they're tired but not very tired. There we go, the desert, little, desert warriors are back. Colonial militia. Yeah, I think this is going to be GG soon. Some of them have gone into hiding. You little scallywags. Push through the wood and clear them out. Fairly sure there's one more unit hiding. Yeah, there it is. for the 16th because they're not shattered yet. You men get involved in on the irregulars. Excellent. Bear in charge. What would teach you to make allies of the natives? As we bring our slave warriors into the mix. Slaughter them. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Pounded the hell out of the ninth. But there goes New Spain as well. A triple faction destruction. You can go south as much as you like. There is no south far enough for you. Godlieb, get replenishing. Building, get upgrading. You're almost up, Louisiana. Everyone else is going to be running around. So what I want to do is I want to hit... No. Let's end the episode by preparing to attack Cayuga. Because looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. I think Cayuga, Niagara... I mean, we sh we may I mean, I'll probably squeak all that into one episode, maybe. Depends how things go. But yeah, either way. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the Assault on Cayuga, the Iroquois capital. Cheers, everyone.